You just learnt a beautiful E chord and it sounds like this. Don't be discouraged and especially do not give up. So in this video, I will show you how to make it sound like this. Coming up. Hey guys, what's up? Steve here bringing you guitar videos. And on this channel, you'll find videos on guitar tips, tricks, gear, and riffs. So if you're new here, consider subscribing for upcoming events and new releases. Also, there's lots of other cool content on this channel for you guitar players out there. And don't forget to stay until the end for a cool bonus trick. Let's put that guitar in tune, shall we? There are many different types of tuners. There are clip-ons, some are on pedal boards, a standard tuner, or even an app on your phone. Whichever way you choose, they all do a great job to tune your guitar properly. First thing, make sure your tuner says G for guitar. Many tuners now have the V for violin, or B for bass, or even a C for chromatic, which means it gives you all the notes, sharps, flats, instead of just the six notes needed for your six guitar strings. If you looked at my video on chord diagrams, we now know that the first string is the bottom one, and the sixth string is the big fat one on top. The name of the first string is E, then B, G, D, A, and another E, but much lower sounding than our first E. When you start on your high E string, make sure to bring it to a D sharp, then you tighten it upwards. Always tighten the string to its intended note instead of tuning down. Do the same thing for your B, your G, your D, your A string, and your low E string. You're by a campfire, it's at night with some friends, you brought your guitar, but you forgot your tuner. What do you do? Use a tuning fork. The tuning fork I have is an A, which is the fifth string. Make sure your A string, the fifth string, has the same note as your tuning fork. Once your note is the same as the tuning fork, you press on the fifth fret of your low E string until the two notes are the same. Use your A string, press on the 5th fret, and your A string will sound the same note as the D string. Do the same for the D string. Your G string has to be on the 4th fret, so we can hear your, your B string, and then your B string, you go back to the 5th fret for your high E string. There you have it, a good way to practice your ear training. And that's it, that easy. There you have it, a beautiful sounding guitar. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, ask questions, or send an idea my way in the comments below. Question of the day, what accessory or cool tool do you use to tune your guitar with? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep practicing and having fun.